Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Horst Lüning. I'm the master taste of whiskey.com. And today we have a, well, a prohibition bottle here on my cast. It's called Cutty Sark Prohibition. And it's a very dark one. It's dark green um, and shows the clipper Cutty Sark. Prohibition edition blended scotch whiskey, handcrafted from grain and malt. As long as there's a mouse on the computer, this whiskey is handmade. Uh, and malt whiskey is matured in American oak. Mm. Fact. And bottled at a hundred proof US measure. We're talking about prohibition. Hundred proof is uh, 57% ABV. If you have imperial measures, means British measurements. And adding three percentages of alcohol adds five proof. So a 100 proof UK whiskey has 60% alcohol, ABV, and a an US whiskey with 100 proof has only 50% ABV. That's very pragmatic. Don't think about calculating three and five and whatever. Just divide by two and you have the real alcohol content. So this is 100 proof and for a blended whiskey 50% of alcohol is a lot. I'm not aware of blended whiskies showing such a high ABV. The bottle is well made in an old-fashioned style, very dark, there's engravement in the forms and here they write since 1923 and if I remember right I visited the Glenrothes distillery and I hope that I have a picture here for the background of the Cutty Sark Museum there, um, where there is a, a scene sitting, uh, three people around a, a chair where they start designing the Cutty Sark label and they have this Cutty Sark clipper in front. And uh, these uh, whiskies were shipped or smuggled into the US during Prohibition. Uh, through the south, through the Caribbean, and uh, the Cutty Sark was known as the light blend or the light whiskey. It was always lighter in color, and therefore they have the green bottle that you do not see uh, this light liquid, um, because everybody says, "Oh, if this whiskey is darker, it might be better." <clears throat> mm. Cutty Sark Prohibition Edition has been carefully blended in the traditional way from mature malt and grain scotch whiskies and then bottled at a hundred proof USA measure. Full flavored and challenging massive notes of cracked black pepper and toffee with hints of vanilla allow you to drink this full strength whiskey straight as the free spirited would have done in the 1920s or add a shot of water to tame its rich rugged and authentic full flavor. Either way, has a sm super smooth finish thanks to being non-chill filtered and aged in hand-selected American oak cask. Fact. Yeah, Cutty Sark Prohibition Edition has been crafted as a salute to the notorious Captain William S. McCoy. McCoy? Star Trek? That was the Dr. McCoy, wasn't it? Yeah. Who smuggled Cutty Sark blended scotch whiskey into America during the Prohibition area of the 1920s. His impeccable reputation for only dealing with the finest, genuine and unadulterated liquor gave rise to Cutty Sark being referred to as the real McCoy. <laughs> yeah. When Prohibition fell in the 1930s, late 1930s, um, the clan of the Kennedys uh, which I think have Irish roots. Um, they negotiated with the uh, United Kingdom for whiskey to be shipped to the US, filling bike loads of ships. And the Irish said no. And the Scots said, well, yes, we'll get this load and have a decent payoff period. And when prohibition fell, Shiploads full of Scotch whiskey laid ashore 
and was ready to ship to the thirsty throats of the American people. So and therefore, Scotch whiskey uh, got the lead. Yeah, after the war, that's a different story to be told another time. A wonderful full and lightly herbal spicy note in the nose. There's a lot of alcohol in it, already smellable. And the Cutisark label belongs to, well, I think the Glenrothes um, distillery or the mother company of that. And sometime it belonged to the Eddington Group, I think, if, I'm not sure if it's still in the Eddington Group or not. And there we have the McKellen and Highland Park whiskies. So there is definitely a lot of Glenrothes whiskey in this blend. But what the other malls are, I can't tell. No, sorry. Yeah, there's uh, toffee. And the pepper still not there. And there should be some honey, some citrus, but no, not yet. Mm. Oh, 50% is strong. And immediately the citrus notes then mouth-watering, probably due to the high alcoholic content, lightly spiciness from American oak. There might be a hint of pepper in it, yes, but the vanilla, not yet. But it's a full mouthfeel and, well, some toffee might be in that as well. Little sweetness showing through and the aftertaste is mild. There's not this bitter taste of the 10 times used old grain casks where I always complain about. No, this is yeah, very faint coffee note in the back, but this is a blend which is closer to the malts and not to these light in the nose blends and bitter hefty in the aftertaste. So they, they are best used in cocktails, where you would like to have this whiskey taste dominating the cocktail. No, this is a blend for drinking. So just add a splash of water to reduce from the 50 ABV. And then this is a wonderful whiskey. And this is in the mid twenties, euros, dollars, pounds. So it's not that expensive for that a high ABV. And, uh, well, it might not be older than three years and a day. And in Prohibition times, the whiskey was even younger, if matured at all, moonshine. Yeah. So this is for a second sip. Mm -hmm. This is a really good one. It's a lot of value for the money and a lot of taste for the money. And it's, well, it's very good sipping. Be careful. Yeah. Thank you for watching. Stay tuned. As always, there's more to come.